Do you think that because man, the moves you've made in free agency in in getting rid of contracts at certain points when it was necessary, like do you think other teams are afraid to take high Roseman calls right now? Do you think you're you're like what happened? I don't want to like what happened with Tennessee, right? Are other GMs now going to be like? I'm going to tread a little bit more carefully if I'm dealing with high because you've... I, I hope not. I really do yeah. because, you know, at the end of the day, everything we're doing, I legitimately... Like, th- there is a fraternity with GMs, especially the guys who've been around a long time, which isn't a lot. But, yeah. you know, these guys, like, you don't want anyone to freaking lose their job. You want guys to make a lot of money. I mean, it's like this. I say all the time, like, my best friend in the world since I'm five years old, you know? He's a better athlete. He's a freaking phenomenal athlete. But when I do anything with him, whether I'm not playing basketball anymore, we played basketball or we're whatever sport it was, yeah. like I wanted to kick his ass, <laughs> you know. But when we stopped doing that, he's still my best friend. I still cared about him. Right. So like I want to find win-win situation. I really do. Like yeah. I want someone to feel like you know at the end of the day, like it they worked out for both sides. Yeah, and yeah. maybe just work. Now at the end of the day, like. I've done some bad trades. Like I can think of one right right now as I'm talking about terrible trade that I made. Mm -hmm. And in this, like they have to say yes, right? So I'm not like, I don't have anything over anyone. Like I'm not like, I don't have some Jedi mind trick. Sure. That it's just like, you will do (laughs) that. And so it's like, to me, it's like, it's a little unfair, you know? Sure. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to do what's best for our team. Yeah, I care about the freaking Eagles and I care about us being good because mm-hmm. I want to freaking win. But at the end of the day, every time I get off those calls, I feel like the other team, I'm actually feeling the opposite way. I'm going, what don't I know? Yeah, I'm sure. Both parties are probably guarded a little bit. Like, you know, you want to make sure that you're yeah. doing... What's but best? I think I, th- I think it's it, it's all cyclical, you know. At this, uh, I'll make some stupid ass move like I always do, and then they'll go, "Oh yeah, now we're going to take advantage of him again," you know. It's- I am curious about this. How how does that process take place? Because I've never been to free agency, like or been traded yet uh there's a, how does how does the trademark like like the edge around trade hey you, Dom, uh, we, uh, how's that go? J- jason jason goes sign me and then i trade him if we don't put a no trade clause on a trade will i be able to walk back into the city of philadelphia ever again no no how but how like so and feel free not to answer this but yeah. like the aj brown trade yeah. how do you find out that this is a guy that's available like is is that released by their front office is that his agent kind of saying like hey it doesn't look like a deal is going to get done there's a chance they're looking to shop like i've always been curious like when they say like x team is shopping x player what does that mean i think the one thing that that i'm not sure it's a good trait but i do have one quality that i can't deny and that is i am relentless yeah like freaking relentless and yeah. and that doesn't always uh, it depends how it comes off you know it, dep- it depends where where and when you know okay well, come when it comes to <laughs> competing for world championships i think relentless right, is a good right. trait yeah so um you know and so for me i am so scared i think like part of what you have and I, I think I have is there's an insecurity that you're not going to be great, right? Yeah. I think that's really like anyone in 15 when I met with like these business leaders and stuff, like they all have this like insecurity that it's going to pass them by and they're not going to be great. It's not yeah. like you feel like, all right, we won a Super Bowl. Oh, everything's great. Like I'm right. great. my legacy set. It's the opposite. I feel like, and I'm so worried that someone's going to be available that I don't know about. And I see a trade or a move made and I didn't know about it. And you could have had I it. I would have done it. Yeah. And so for me, that drives me. So what do you try to do? You just like the information part of this is like talking to these guys, these GMs and just like, I'm open to anything, you know, yeah. like we're looking for these positions, but I'm open to anything. And honestly, like I know it's going to cost a lot, but don't be afraid to ask me because yeah. I may do it, you know? Yeah. And I think the more you can do that, the more opportunities come about. And I really do it because I, I'm petrified of waking up one morning and seeing AJ Brown traded to, you pick the team, I don't want to pick the team. <laughs> and I would have done that trade. Sure. And then how do I explain that? You yeah. know, like how to explain that to our players? How do I explain that to Jeffrey? How to mm-hmm. explain that to our coaching staff? And so I think that's part of it is making sure like I am trying to speak You're to listening. every single guy and saying like, don't throw out an idea idea. Throw in an idea. Tell me what you do. Like, this is what we're looking for. And I think the only thing that that helps with is you just kind of have options. Okay. You also get laughed at a lot. What were you going to say? We're out of time. We'll come back. All right. Perfect. Perfect.